I told them about the significance of long period events, which they weren't uh, aware of at the time. From then on, they began to track Shuei's long period events. It's like a red light flashing. When you see these signals, uh, something important is happening. And in December 2000, the long period events began to increase dramatically. Popocatapetl was pressurizing. The volcano is singing its song. I mean, actually, this is a little like chirping, if you want, with these, these sustained waves from the long period event. The question was, when did the people need to be evacuated? Valdez knew the consequences of a false alarm. If people moved from their homes and nothing happened, then there would be no way they would move the next time the volcano threatened to erupt. We feel so bad asking people to leave their homes. And you have to keep your mind in the scientific work and say, look, other volcanoes have done this. The potential of this volcano uh, is that uh, uh, these particular villages could be in danger. If Valdez was to convince people to move out, he had to predict exactly when the volcano was going to erupt. On the 16th of December, the rate of Shuei's long period events escalated still further. The volcano couldn't continue at this rate for much longer. This is a siren song, so to speak, because it's telling you, well, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm under pressure here. I'm going to blow at the top. Valdez had to make the decision. We could clearly see that it would be between uh, 4 and 6 in the afternoon of the 18th. 